In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add an image to WordPress and have the text wrap around it just like you see right here. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. This video is part of the WordPress skills playlist on my channel. If you find this video helpful, you're going to find that playlist super helpful. There's a link to that in the description down below if you want to check it out. My name is Bjorn Allpass, WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. Now let's get started. We're going to add an image to this post right here in this paragraph, and we're going to align it to the left so the text wraps around it. To do that, we go to Edit Post. Then we scroll down to where we want the image to go. I want it to go after this paragraph because when we wrap it, it's going to be beside the paragraph that the image is below when we enter it. So I'm going to click on the plus icon right here and then choose Image. I'll go to the Media Library. I will pick an image like this water bottle and click on select. I'm going to add a little caption as well. This is a great water bottle and there's our image, but it's huge. You can't wrap text around an image of this size. Luckily, there's a simple way to reduce the size. If you click on the image, make sure it's selected under block on the right hand side. We see image, which means the image is selected. That's what we want. If we scroll down, we can reduce the width from 100% to 75 to 50 to 25. I think this is a good width in this case to make sure we have enough space to make sure it's small enough for the text to wrap around it. So now that the image size is reduced, we can choose our wrapping using this option right here. Choose any one of these and we're going to see a change in our text. So let's choose left align and boom, our text is left aligned. And I was wrong. It takes the paragraph from below the image and wraps it. So if you want to move the image to a different location, just press the up and it's going to wrap itself around the text block right above the one you're on. And you can move it back down, move it from text block to text block. I like to use this one because there's some text below the image as well. It doesn't look so weird because this one just has one little line off in the middle of nowhere by itself. It doesn't look good. So you want to put the image in a spot where you have enough text to wrap around and it looks good. And you can also float the image or move the image to the center, which means no wrapping. You can move it to the right, which means the text wraps the other way. You can have it wide width and full width. And choosing those full width options changes our sizing options back to what, what they were. So choose left line again, and then go back to 25. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video or 50 or whatever makes sense for your image. And then we have the image wrapped or the, sorry, the text wrapped around the image. The last thing you want to do is we want to change the image size. The image size is the size of the actual image that WordPress is loading into this space. If you are using an image that's the full width, you want to use large or full size to make sure it's the highest quality possible and not pixelated. When you're using a smaller image like this, you can change it to medium and you can see a little bit of pixelation. Not much though. If we change the percentage amounts, it's a big difference. Now we're at 75 because we're on the medium size. If we change the thumbnail, then even more pixelation. So you want to change, choose the one that doesn't pixelate as much. So the medium at 75, I think is good. And the reason I like the medium is because the file size of the image will be smaller. And so it will load faster when someone comes to your website. That's just something to consider when you're adding images. So let's save this, click on update. And let's go out to the post and see how it looks. Scroll down and there's our text wrapped around our image, just like we want. If you found this video helpful, you're definitely gonna to wanna to check out this playlist right here. It's the WordPress basic skills playlist on my YouTube channel. It'll answer lots and lots of WordPress questions for you. So make sure you check that out. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.